Hey, hey, friends, welcome to this week's episode of the Amazon Files, brought to you by none other than Mommy Income, and I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, owner, operator of MommyIncome.com, and I am so glad that you're tuning in today, because we are going to get real. I'm going to get tough, I'm going to get real, I'm going to be honest with you, because I keep getting this this week. Now, I understand this is the number one question that I hate. And I hate using that word, so I don't even want to use that word, but word, words matter. They do. And what I can't stand is when people come to me and say, yo, Kristen, how do I start an Amazon business with no money? <laughs> so we are absolutely going to address that today because I want you to be able to start a business. I'm going to tell you exactly how much it's going to cost to start selling on Amazon right now, today, in this day and age. It is the beginning of 2023. And so we're going to set realistic expectations about what it costs to sell on Amazon. But first of all, there needs to be some premises here. I need to talk tough to you first so that you understand this. I know that there's everybody out there always trying to say, start this business, start that business, make money, um, do a side hustle. Like, how can I make money quick? Things like that. Number one, I'm going to tell you this now, that if you want to make money quick, um, this isn't for you. This isn't going to be for you. It's not going to be fast. You will make good profits and it's a long-term sustainable business model that yes, can be done as a side hustle. So I'm gonna say that right now, a side hustle, sure. If you have realistic expectations of your earning potential and the time and money you are willing to put in this business, then we'll talk about that. You don't have to have tons of money, but what I'm teaching, what I'm telling you is a million dollar business strategy a million dollar business strategy. So did you hear that right away in this video talking about that? The things I'm going to teach you, the things that I'm going to run down of how much it costs to sell on Amazon my way, which there's tons of different ways, none of them are wrong or bad, but after all I've done over 20 years of e-commerce experience, my personal wholesale bundle system business model on Amazon, it's earning me over a million dollars a year in revenue on Amazon, just on Amazon, not multiple platforms, only Amazon. And I'm just gonna tell you what it's gonna cost you. And I'm gonna break down how much it's gonna cost you so that you're very much aware of how you can start a, a million dollar business that can turn into a million dollar business with just $2,000. Now, that's a really small percentage. That's like, what, 2% or something? 2% of a million dollars um, to start a business. So one of the things, the question I hate this week is, how do I start a business with no money? Well, let me just talk about businesses and hobbies for a hot second, right? The similarities of a business versus a hobby is that they both should be fun. Honestly, they should be fun. But if you don't have a little bit of fun reselling or making bundles or being creative, run fast in the opposite direction. Because a business is not just something that makes money. It's gonna get hard. There are gonna be things that you don't know how to do that you don't figure out. There are gonna be times you wanna pull your hair out and throw your laptop out the damn window. I'm just being honest here. I feel like that at least once a week in my business. But because I love what I do, and because it's still fun to me to create product bundles and to interact with people and to run an Amazon business, I still do it. But because on the hard days, it's when you want to give up when it's just a hobby. When you're not being paid, that's the days that matter the most. If you're not paying yourself, if you're not making a profit and paying yourself money. On the hard days, that's when it feels the worst. Because on the hard days, at least I can say, well, I'm getting paid really well to do this crappy task today. So I'm going to be okay with it. I'm having fun with the most part and I have to do some of this blah work today. I'm okay with it, right? Okay. So, so we understand that, but if you don't have a little bit of fun, at least maybe it's time to do something else, or this isn't going to be for you. It's not just about making money. We can make money selling feet pics on the internet. Did you know this was a thing? If you don't, let me educate you. There is an app and a site and multiple sites where you can literally take pictures of your feet in different types of shoes with different nail polishes on them and sell them for money on the internet. Yes, that absolutely can make money and be a side hustle. 
that's okay for those of people who want to participate in selling feet pics. That's amazing. That makes money. But if it's not something that that is you're excited about or gives you passion or or you're going to run a business and do the hard things and actually have real financial statements and real um, credibility in your business and make real profits, then it's time to exit to the left because this is a real business. Now, the other thing about businesses and hobbies is that they both cost money, right? All hobbies and businesses require time and finance, time investment, financial investment into even a hobby. Like I love cornhole, y'all. I play and I've talked about this many times. It takes time investment and some money investment in order to carry out my hobbies. I have to buy equipment. I have to set aside time to practice and or go to tournaments and play them and uh, invest in the equipment, the bags, everything else in order to participate. The difference between businesses and hobbies are that businesses make you money and hobbies cost you money. Now businesses cost money too, but they also make money. They make a profit. Consistently, they make a profit eventually. And a lot of businesses in their first couple of years don't actually make profit. And that's okay because you have a plan, right? So let's just get that out of the way right now. Amazon FBA can be a side hustle, but it is not a hobby. It is a business. You actually have to file tax documents and report your income to the IRS. You are a business. Now, if you're making money on the side of a hobby, say you do a craft show and you make uh, homemade candles or things like that, like my friend, um, a friend of mine does, that can be a hobby that you just do kind of on the side and see where it goes and eventually turn it into a business. Or it can be a business from the get-go. So what your intentions are is really, really important. They both are going to cost you money. But in case you didn't know, selling on Amazon is a business, not a hobby. The difference is that the hobby is gonna cost you money and a business makes you money. If you're not making money and you're selling on Amazon, and you're not making a profit and you're consistently losing money month after month after month after month, then you just have a really, really expensive hobby. You do not have a business. So the question I hate that's been coming up this last couple of weeks, and I know you guys, I get it. The economy has taken a downturn. Interest rates are up. Inflation's up. Um, unemployment's up. Everything is, is not great um, in our economy right now. Things are very uncertain and unknown, and it's difficult, yet people are coming on some hard times, and they want to figure out how to make additional money. I get that. I started my Amazon business way, way back. 2008 is when I first opened my Amazon account. And I started with $100 in my pocket. And that was in 2008. So we know with inflation, it's going to cost you a little bit more to start. Now, I'm going to break that down for you. So just hang in there. But I want to premise these things with some things up front. Because a lot of people think, how do I start an Amazon business with no money? Well, you don't. You don't start any business with no money, not even a pampered chef or a Mary Kay or any other type of businesses. It's like direct sales. You still have to buy your starter kit, your marketing materials, your initial inventory, like nothing, no business is free unless you're starting a consultation where you're using only your knowledge and the internet. And then at that point that could potentially be free. I'm talking about a product base, e-commerce, you're selling product business, even reselling. It's not free. So don't come at me and ask me how you can do that. Now, how do you start a business with no money? Say you have all the drive in the world and you have extra time and you have um, extra, you're a real go-getter, but you just don't have any money. I will say you don't start a business with no money. You don't. You get a job or you keep your job and you save a little bit money to start. And you keep that job until you and start your business on the side as a, a side hustle. The thing is, you can actually borrow money to start a business if you have a good, solid business plan, complete with your financials, numbers, projections. You can get an SBA loan. You can start from scratch from zero with zero money. If you put the work in to do your business plan and then file for an SBA loan. Do you know what an SBA loan is? It's a, a pile, a pile, a pile of paperwork. They want your, your firstborn 
They want all of the paperwork you've ever had, ever in your life. It's not terrible, it's not bad, but it is a huge process, which going through the process already qualifies you then to try and get a loan if you can present your business in a way that makes financial sense for them to give you a loan and with good, good terms. So yes, you can start a business with no money if you get a loan, but in order to get a loan, you have to have every piece of paperwork, all your duckies in a row. Y'all, if you need to know how to prepare any of these documents, prepare for a loan, prepare for a business plan, go to mommyincome.com forward slash coaching and grab a coaching call because I can absolutely help you set yourself up for success to even get someone to invest or get a loan for your business. Now, that is an actual bank loan, not using your credit cards to bank loan you to bankroll your business. Although if you're very disciplined, you could do that. But all that to say that Amazon, starting an Amazon business, it's going to cost you some money because it's a real legitimate business. I personally make all my income from Amazon still to this day. This is where I make my money on Amazon in my open store using the wholesale bundle system as my business model. And I've tried, tried them all now. How much is this going to cost you? Let's break down some of these things. I'm going to give you exact numbers and the reasons why I'm qualifying how you can start a business for about $2,000. Yep, that's what it's going to be. So if you don't have $2,000, that's okay. You can you can save up for it. You can look at the cost and figure out a way to make this work for you. Because once you do that, your store is open, you are ready to go, and all you have to do is repeat the steps. Repeat the steps come up with the next product, repeat the steps once you know what you're doing. And right now you just don't, and that's fine. So realistically, what are the costs to start and run an Amazon business? They're the keys to your survival. Some of the basic costs that you need to be aware of in any business, just saying, there's every any business, whether you open a restaurant or open a boutique or open a swim school or a life coaching business or an Amazon store, there is going to be costs and time and investment you're going to have to make in a business. And also be aware not to invest too much up front. If someone's telling you to put twenty to $30,000 of your own money into something, you need to push the brakes for a second see the rundown in the numbers and what exactly every single cost is going to go to before you ever invest in anything. I've had people come to me that they've they've been swindled by companies that have said, oh, we'll set up your Amazon business for you. We'll set up your store. We'll put products in it. We'll run it for you. We'll manage all the stuff. Give us 30 grand and you know we'll take care of it. And 30 grand later and six months later, they haven't made a dollar. They haven't got any of that back and they've been hung out to dry. This is an actual story from one of my clients. So first of all, don't put all of your money into something that you know nothing about. Be cautious in the beginning. Not so overly cautious that you never pull the trigger, but cautious enough to not make costly mistakes. Those that invest too much upfront in something that they don't know a lot about cost a lot of money. The school of hard knocks will teach you and they are, their lessons are expensive. Stumble, step big, Stumble big, step small, stumble small. Learn small incremental steps so that you don't make costly mistakes. That's what I'm here for, to teach you not to make those costly mistakes so that you have realistic expectations of what you can expect financially and how much time and effort it's gonna take you to do this and then do it. Now, I'm going to also disclaim this right here before I even break down the cost for you. There are always cheaper ways to do things. I'm just going to be upfront about that as well. I get it. A budget is a budget. But you get what you pay for as well. Cheap is exactly that. It's cheap. Free is exactly that. It's cheap. Free videos take, they don't cost you anything. But doing everything for free takes a lot of time to consume and weed out the fluff and weed out the parts that don't apply to you and watch ads and do all the things. It's just plain faster to learn from the experts right away, right out of the gate, so you know exactly what you're doing. Why? Because when someone tells you exactly what you're doing, you don't have to guess, you don't have to make a lot of mistakes, you don't have to stumble, lose a lot of money, and lose a lot of time. It's a shortcut for a reason. Someone already went there, done the thing, made the money, and now they're going to teach you how to do it. You're learning from their experience because experience takes time to build. Am I right? 
20 years of e-commerce experience this year. It's my 20th anniversary selling online. I am an expert. So I just want you guys to know I have tried all the business models on Amazon. I've done retail arbitrage for many years, online arbitrage, private label, wholesale, liquidations, merch by Amazon, KDP printed books, Audible. I've done all of that. And my method, the wholesale bundle system has earned me over a million dollars. So if you want to do what I'm doing, this is what it's going to cost you. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't mean that this is the only way or the absolute best way. It's the best way that I've figured out how to make the most profits in my business doing the least amount of work after all the times. So like retail arbitrage for sure can make money. It's definitely the lowest point of entry into Amazon. But I caution people not to start there because you end up building yourself a prison over time and you have to break free from that eventually. So my method of wholesale bundle system after all of the other business models that I've done has earned me over a million dollars every year since I've hit my peak and I main I'm maintaining that. I don't want to be a $10 million seller. It's too much to manage, too many people to hire, too many things to manage, too many products to manage. So I'd rather just keep it small. What I'm saying today, in this day and age, in this year, it's gonna cost you about $2,000 to start a wholesale bundling business over time. It doesn't mean all upfront give you $2,000 and you can start. Yes and no. If you wanted to start and have your, your store up and running within let's say two weeks to 30 days and have, it, have product for sale, I would say that the minimum that you're gonna spend is $2,000. And I'm gonna break it down for you and give you the reasons why. Number one, the most expensive part of this is the wholesale bundle system. To learn my system, to learn the strategies that I put in place, and I mean step by step. Even in module zero, it teaches you how to open up your Amazon account. It teaches you all the things you need, like your EIN number, an LLC, um, all the tax verifications that Amazon's going to ask you, all the questions that they're going to ask you. You're going to be ready and prepared for it. This is the school of wholesale bundling. This is the school of my business model that will help you with that. Over 50 videos in there, step-by-step -step training, very comprehensive, even for people who don't speak English as their first language. It's very comprehensive and step-by-step. -step. That's going to cost you $1,000. Why? Because you have no idea what you're doing. That's just honest. Like if I, if I wanted to get into investing into crypt cryptocurrency, which I've look, looked into, I have no idea what I'm doing. Now I could go in and take $5,000 and buy a bunch of Bitcoin and hope for the best, which is what a lot of people do. Or I could buy a training course from an expert that shows me exactly where to put my money in to make the most profit. Now, does that make sense or what? If you don't know what you're doing, learn from an expert. Now you could try to figure it out on your own, but usually figuring it out on my own for me cost me a lot of money. <laughs> cost me a lot of money and mistakes. I'm like, oops, shouldn't have done that. Lost that money. Shouldn't have done that. Guess lost all that time researching that rabbit hole because you have no idea what you're doing. And education and formal training of anything new, especially a business that could have the potential to earn you millions of dollars, it's going to cost some money in education. That's part of the investment. Here's the training question. Do you ever go to a new job and expect that you just waltz right in and know exactly what you're doing? It's a new company. Even though if you have the skill set to execute the job correctly, there's an, it's a new bit. It's a new layout. You have new leaders. You have new computer systems to use. You have new um, processes and procedures that don't apply to old other companies. So you would not even just walk right into a brand new job and expect to know everything of what you're doing and sit down and get to work on day one. No, there is a process that you're going to need to learn even at a new company with skills you already bringing to the table. Am I right? Education is part of every new business, new job, new career, new school, new anything. So I'm unapologetic about saying you need to learn what you're doing. You have no idea. And you've come to the right place because I have literally just updated absolutely everything in the wholesale bundle system. It's brand new for this year and you will not be disappointed in the training. So that's that. If you want the training and that's part of it, stay tuned to the end. I have a special discount code for you for podcast listeners only. So there's that. 
Inventory, what else are you gonna need? So $1,000 for your wholesale bundle system training. $500 to start with inventory. Why am I not telling you to spend $5,000? We just talked about this because you're new and you don't know what you're doing. So we're gonna start really small and we're gonna build small and then we're gonna build big. You start small, you get the hang of what you're doing and then you scale. That's what you do in business. You start small, make some mistakes, get familiar with the process, get familiar with what's bringing profit and what's not, and then you go big, right? So you only need $500 to start your inventory, maybe a little less. Again, you have no idea what you're doing. So your first couple of products might not sell as well as you want them to. That's realistic. But as you spend small and you learn mistakes, then you improve and you improve on a bigger scale. Custom packaging. You're gonna spend about $150 on custom packaging right out of the gate. Mommyincome.com slash sticker mule. You can get poly bags or bubble sticker bags with your logo printed on it um, with no problems, really inexpensively for less than a couple hundred bucks. And you can have that at your door to start. Remember, you're starting a business. You don't need thousands and thousands of dollars to be spent on upfront. You're starting small. It's necessary to execute wholesale bundling correctly to have custom packaging. And guess what? The training teaches you exactly how to order it, how to create a logo, how to create a brand. Everything's in the training. Everything. You're going to need about 100 bucks a month. To start, you can just spend $100 in your first month because hopefully by month two, you are making profit, right? You're going to send in your inventory and you're going to make profit. So your $100 a month to start, Merchant Words is my favorite. It's simplistic. It's very easy, very comprehensive to use. Very comprehensive. There's not really a learning curve when it comes to Merchant Words. You type a word in and you know how many people are searching for those keywords on Amazon on a monthly basis at a snapshot in instant seconds. There's not any formulas to fill out or any sort of code words that you're like, what do these things mean? What is, you know, it, it's just very straightforward. That's why I love Merchant Words. So for about a hundred bucks a month, between 80 and hundred bucks a month, you can get Merchant Words uh, monthly because you cannot know what to sell on Amazon without proper research tools. That is one of the tools I recommend. There's plenty others that I recommend, but that is my favorite, easiest, most comprehensive tool to use for keyword research, product research on Amazon. And then of course your $40 fee, your Amazon fee. Do not open your Amazon account until you're ready to start uploading listings because it's gonna cost you 40 bucks a month to open your store. The way that we teach, you need a full professional Amazon account, cost $39.99 a month, regardless if you sell anything or not. It's a $40 a month subscription fee to have an open Amazon FBA store. So 40 bucks is just, it's gonna cost you 40 bucks for every month until you close your store. You can't have an account without paying the fee. So that's that. And then my final, it depends, very optional, but in my opinion, very necessary to set you apart from the rest of the Amazon world is getting a trademark in at least one class. And that only costs $250. It's optional right now, but I doubt it's gonna be optional forever on Amazon. Eventually, I feel like they're going to force you to be brand registered, which requires a US trademark. And because of that, you're going to need a trademark. Now, again, my training, Wholesale Bundle System, the education I was talking about covers all of this step-by-step -step and in detail, how to create a brand for Amazon. Now, y'all, this brand does not have to be a household name on the Target shelf. Now, that's great if that's your ambition and we can certainly help you with that here, but your idea here is to have your own branding so that you can create wholesale bundles without any major brand issues. So XYZ Mercantile is the store name and you just have a nice logo that you can create for free and then have printed on your custom packaging, which then you bundle your items in that and you are fully protected. Yes, this is a legitimate business model that takes some time, money and energy to set up. But then once you're doing it correctly, the sky is the limit to how much you can earn. And the steps are repeatable. You don't have to learn it all more than one time. You learn it, you get the hang of it, and then you do it. And then you do it on repeat. And then you hire someone else to do it for you while you are having your two-day work week. That's called a CEO, ladies and gentlemen. And it doesn't mean chief everything officer. It means that you own and run the business and have somebody else working and doing the things, right? 
That's exactly what I'm trying to teach you. I'm not trying to teach you some side hustle that you can trade your job for this job. It's more than a job. It's a business that you can own, an asset that you can sell or hire out or pass out and still earn money from. That's what we teach here. If that's not what you're about, you just want a, a little side hustle to make a couple extra dollars on the side, Amazon FBA might not be for you because it's legit and it costs money, but then it makes a lot more than just a little side hustle. So those are just the basic breakdown of what you need. Again, $1,000 for the training, $500 for inventory, $150 for some custom packaging, a keyword research tool, Merchant Words is my favorite, monthly fee on Amazon's 40 bucks and your optional, but very, very, very recommended, a trademark in one class costs $250 to file on your own. You can do that and that's your $2,000. Now, if you have a little more than that, we can talk about expanding your inventory, expanding a little bit more of the bells and whistles that can kind of to, to help you some, but this is the basic bottom line. You don't necessarily need anything else other than these things. Now I'm making an assumption that you already have a computer, uh, and the internet and a printer, because you're definitely gonna need those things. But other than that, this is what you need to sell on Amazon Wholesale Bundles, my way, my million dollar business strategy. That's what you need. Can you do it for cheaper? Absolutely. If you really want to start an Amazon business and you are desperate to just make this work for whatever reasons that you have, your reasons are important and valid. You have a boss that's really crappy to you and you can't wait to get out of that job, but it pays you really well and you want to start a business so that you can get out from under a boss like that, so be it. Start as small as you can. Use what you have. Start where you are. There's nothing wrong with free YouTube videos if literally that's all that you can afford. But don't be cheap when it comes to your business. It's business. It has an ROI. It's this difference between scrolling social media and watching a bunch of free videos that are entertaining and business education. Business education has an ROI. It teaches you something that you can implement that then brings you profit. Let me ask you, do your crazy cat videos that you watch bring you profit? The scrolling on social media and watching ads and watching people do fun things on TikTok, does that bring you profit? No, that's just entertainment. But if you're looking for educational videos, educational format, then get it from directly from the sources, the places that are actually giving you an ROI, something you can implement and grow. Now you can start for about $700 if you want to start retail arbitrage and, and start small and just have that. But it's still going to cost about $700 if you're going to start really, really small because you still have no idea what you're doing. You still need to learn what you're doing. Now, if you email us admin at mommyincome.com and tell us why we should let you in on our beginner training, that can cost as little as $250. But we don't usually sell that separately. So we want to know that this is your, this is your absolute last resort and last straw. And you really, really want this, but you have this because here's the deal. If you can't invest in the training, you can't invest in an inventory to sell. You won't, you, you can have, you can't be either or starting a business, you need some startup costs. So even starting small with retail arbitrage, you're going to need some supplies, $100 for your FBA toolkit, which we have mommyincome.com forward slash FBA starter kit. That is all the tools you need to start and do a shipment from your house. Absolutely. You're going to need inventory money, 300 bucks. Amazon fee is still 40 bucks, no matter if you're going big or going small. $100 for supplies. So this is about $700, $250 for education for Start FBA Today, $100 for your supplies, $40 for your Amazon fee, and about $300 in inventory. That'll get you by. It's about $700 if you're going to really start small and just do it as a side, side, side hustle. It's possibility. I'm, again, assuming you have a computer and the internet and a printer. That's just the beginning. It actually costs more to run your business once it's up and running. Now, a, a certain cost, like the education cost, you pay one time. So you'll never have to invest that again. That investment is going to pay you over and over and over by saving you from mistakes. But then you're going to have your operating costs. Who's going to do your bookkeeping and accounting? Is it going to be you? That's fine. That costs time. That doesn't have to cost money. If you use QuickBooks and do your own thing or FreshBooks, that could be something that you're investing in. 
it's your time. You can do that. Tech upgrades. What happens if your phone dies, your computer dies, your internet goes wonky? Um, it eventually at some level, you're going to need liability or comp insurance. Amazon requires liability insurance for your stuff being in their warehouse. That's going to be based on your sales, maybe three, four hundred dollars, maybe six, seven hundred dollars. Eventually, you do not need that on the starting day number one. Income taxes, you're going to need to pay your taxes on all this stuff. You're going to pay accountant for your taxes. So these are just things that you need to keep in mind to keep a business up and going. And the, the slower that you set yourself up for success in the beginning, the better off you'll be later. The worst thing that's ever happened to me is when I find out months or years later that I've been doing something wrong the whole time and now I have to start over and do it a new way. So just learn the stuff in advance. Take your time to set up your business in the beginning. It's so worth it. It's just another 30 days. It's just another 30 days. What can happen in 30 days? It goes by in the blink of an eye. And you can either start slow and be patient and take the proper steps and invest the proper time and money to set yourself up correctly. Or you can wait another year or two and then realize you did it all wrong and had to do it backwards and sideways again and save yourself all kinds of time. Keep in mind, operational costs are part of every business and they happen regardless if you have sales. So for example, your Amazon fee of $40 a month. Even if you sell not one single thing that month, it still costs you $40 to keep your store open. Same thing on Shopify, same thing on any other place. It costs you money to keep your platform, your storefront up and running. Operation costs still happen every single month. So make sure you have a little bit of reserve for those while you're getting set up. Don't open your Amazon account until you're ready to start listing products within the first couple of weeks. And warning about using credit and loans. Credit and loans are really, really hard to come by in the beginning. If you can't pay in cash, you can't pay. In the beginning, that's why I'm saying that, you only earn the right to use credit and or loans if you have put in the work to prove that you're going to be profitable and that you just need a little extra working capital. This is business, it's not gambling. There's always a risk in any business. It's an upfront investment is essential, but debt is a choice. You can choose to start small and build, or you can risk all of your funds at once, hoping for some big breakthrough. I will say, start small, stumble small, and then go big once you know really what you're doing. Taking small steps. Invest what you have right now. You don't need all the tools, all the things, all the time right away. But you have to understand that it's a business investment and business investments are calculated risks that generally bring an ROI. That's the difference between the business and a hobby. That hobby isn't really bringing a whole lot of return on your investment financially. Now your hobby might, the return on investment for your hobby might just be your own personal satisfaction, your joy, your fulfillment, and that's great. So just don't confuse the two. This is your business. Invest in it because it will pay you back. Be patient, but be intentional. The business doesn't work for you. You work for the business. You have to make it go. You have to roll the ball down the hill for it to get momentum. Right? So that's it. That's just the full disclaimer, realistic expectations. Spending a couple thousand dollars on a business and growing that business and setting it up properly. And once you get inside the training, then you're, you know, you're going to know exactly what to do. We don't leave any stone unturned. So you'll know exactly what to do and how to put that money in, how to create your brand, how to put bundle products together, how to send them into Amazon so that you can start making your return on your investment. So those are the realistic expectations for what it costs to start a wholesale bundles Amazon business and a little bit of if you've really, really got to get scrappy and start with retail arbitrage, I gave you the tools there as well, less than $700. So that's your realistic expectation. And I know that Valentine's Day is right here and now. And I wanted to just tell you that. I wanted to tell you happy Valentine's Day. And I know for some people, this is like the worst day of the year. It's some commercial made up BS and other people absolutely love it because we love love. But 
I just want to tell you, in case someone didn't today, in case someone doesn't tomorrow, if you haven't heard it in a while, I love you. I care about you. You are amazing just the way you are right now today. You're strong and you're capable of doing great things, great big things. You are worthy of love and affection no matter what your circumstances are. You are smart and you have so many skills that the world needs. You are making a difference in the lives of the people around you. And I just want you to know that right here, right now, today, you are loved and cared for. And you have the ability to do amazing things. So go and do amazing things. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening to the Amazon Files podcast. I love my job. I love what I do. I love that I get to talk to you guys and encourage you and give you the hard truth every day because I can't wait to see your success. That brings me so much joy. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you today. I love our conversations. I love chatting with you. Have a great day. We'll see you same time, same place next week on the Amazon Files.